Steve, I know it's just tough to get minutes for everybody, and you're juggling that all the time. And as far as Jordan Bell, what are you looking for him to do when he's out there, and what maybe is he not doing that you'd like to see him work on? Uh, he's earning more time. He's going to play some more. Um, he's just he's a rookie, so he's got to learn the league. He's got to learn concepts. Uh, I'm bringing him along slowly. I'm really pleased with his uh, his production. And um, like I said, he's he, you'll see more of him coming up. With someone like Jordan or anybody on the team, we're thinking about getting ways to get him on the board. It's not done in a vacuum. He's out there with four right. guys. How much do you find yourself and your coaches in your mind tinkering with five-man combinations? And how much do you guys do that in practice? Um, we're doing it in games. I mean, you've noticed. I mean, I, there are games I play 13 guys, you know, and that doesn't happen. But I think we're in a pretty unique position with our team where uh, we can experiment and use the regular season to figure out combinations. And, and uh, last night was obviously odd because without Steph and KD, I, I think that's the first time we've ever had that scenario since uh, KD's been here anyway. So we had some strange combinations, and it's good for our team. You saw the flaws last night. Um, you know, we didn't execute at the end of any quarter. In fact, um, the numbers closing quarters last night was the worst I've ever seen. I think if you add it up, uh, Sacramento outscored us 32-2. to two. Closing the four quarters, it was like 7-2 to two at the end of the first, 8-0, 9-0, 9-0, something like that. And uh, I thought some of that had to do with unfamiliar um, uh, rotations and a lack of execution that resulted and so this is all part of our regular season is, is trying to you know, figure all this stuff out execute with different combinations figure out what works who works with whom and uh, and get better as we go but um, unfortunately sometimes there's some pain that comes along with that um, like last night probably correlates to the question the last couple of years you've been so great at checking the base when you get a double digit Probably count on one hand. Right. Uh, I think probably the difference is this is year four in terms of um, you know trying to get back to the finals, and uh, the first couple of years it just felt like there was a stronger desire to knock teams out, and I think this year it feels more like guys are. Um, just thinking more big picture, long term, myself included. Um, we know what we're up against um, with the year-long journey, and, and uh, so we're not stepping on people's throats like we used to. And uh, I'm okay with that for now, but eventually we're going to have to get back to that point, and um, and I'm confident that we will. But I've been through this as a player, um, and it's not easy to to just keep doing what we're doing year after year at such a high level. So I think that's one of the reasons. Did you have much of a chance to talk to Luke at all? Yeah, yeah. We'd say, in fact, we talked last night. Yeah. Um, have you seen much of the team just on? Not floor? much, not much. I'll yeah. watch some today on the plane. and uh, I haven't had a chance to, to see a whole lot of them. But it, um, you know, what I have seen, it, it feels like their younger guys are doing better. Their defense is dramatically improved. Um, that's the biggest difference. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll watch some more. How about Alonzo? What, what do you make of Alonzo Ball so far? Just, the pressure he's under, for one thing. I mean, his dad still says that he's not being coached right. I'm sure Luke enjoyed that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know about that, but I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a big fan. I, I like the, uh, the flow that he uh, presents to the game, that, that he brings to his team. And uh, he's a young guy. He's going to learn as, as he goes. Um, but I haven't, I haven't watched a whole lot of it so far. Cause numbers left. What do you think of that shot? What, where are you? What do I think of what? His shot. You know, oh yeah, yeah. I'm not commenting on somebody else's shot. That's that's. You can ask Luke tomorrow. Bill Cartwright had a funny <laughs> shot too. Bill did have a funny <laughs> shot. What, beyond, beyond the cause numbers, what what did he do last night that you liked? Oh. And what? He, I mean, he doesn't normally play point. I guess. Right, right. Why, why did that work? Do you think? Uh, he's a basketball player. He just uh, he understands, you know, how to play. Made some great cuts off the ball. Um, he's a playmaker. He doesn't have to be a point guard. Um, he can play. He can make plays from, you know, the one, two, or the three. 
and I loved his aggressiveness and the pace that he brought to the game. This long trip you're about to embark on, do you find value with that time together on the road, or is it really something that, you know, to be survived? I think there's some value to it. Coming off this loss, I think um, I think our guys will be determined uh, to get back on track. And sometimes going on the road uh, can can initiate some of that um, that good play because you go in with a little more of a fear factor. And, and uh, so I'm I'm anxious to uh, you know get back on track, and I think we'll do that. <laughs> yeah. Swimsuit and a winter coat side by side. You don't often do that. You talked about uh, the communication with players who maybe aren't playing as much as they would like to or used to. How's that been like with Patrick? I mean, you had such a promising rookie year. Yeah. And obviously, you guys brought in some guys that have cut into his playing time a little bit. Yeah, but this is the NBA. I mean, right. nobody's guaranteed anything. Um, he's a young guy. He still has to earn his minutes. And um, we have a really deep team, and he understands that. And, um, one of the things I like about Patrick is he uh, he has a good perspective on things. Comes from a great family. He's just you know he's a really sharp guy, and uh, he knows his time will come. I, if anything, I want him to seize it. Um, I want him to grab that role and, and not look back. And uh, sometimes he overthinks things uh, to his own by his own admission. Uh, but when he just plays and uh, like he did last night, when he's just out there playing and flowing. He's really, really a good basketball player.